Hello and welcome on behalf of the UK Asian Film Festival. It is truly wonderful to have the Great Indian Kitchen as part of the 23rd edition of the UK Asian Film Festival 2021. We have with us Geo Baby, the director of the Great Indian Kitchen. Welcome, uh, Mr. Baby. Uh, this is a really path-breaking film, foregrounding a strong female perspective and challenging patriarchal power in India. Tell us what brought you to this story and what inspired you to make this film? Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, be a part of Education Film Festival. And how Great Indian Kitchen uh, happened? Uh, actually, after my marriage, uh, I take a decision that I have to spend with my wife in the kitchen. Taking that decision, uh, that's very simple, just a decision. And the practical side was <laughs> really horrible. Uh, when I was, uh, I was, actually I was stuck in the kitchen. I, I feel that uh, kitchen, uh, for me, I feel that uh, it's like a jail. Because uh, from the morning, uh, from the early morning to the late night, I, I spent uh, inside the kitchen. Uh, at that time, uh, my wife was some uh, other, she was busy with her, with her at some her study. And at that moment, I realized that the kitchen uh, is a horrible space. And I feel like I already told that it's like a jail and it's like a hell. Uh, then I am thinking about the all women. Uh, old women in, in in India because uh, I have a lot of another option when when I was when I wish to go outside I can I can because I'm a, I'm a male I have a lot of other options and then I'm thinking about the woman life not only in the kitchen uh, actually if uh, there is a woman there is discrimination there. So, uh, in a night, in a late night, I discussed with my wife uh, that I could to him about the teacher. And, and after that, I discussed with my sister. Uh, she, she was very excited and she encouraged me a lot that you must do this film. Uh, my sister, my wife, my lot of my, my friends, especially a woman friends, they contribute a lot. I just, I just, uh, uh, I just actually, this is a real life situation. All the things are I taken from real life, from my, from my family, from my friends. And I create very little things for me. I just connected with all these incidents. And that's why uh, uh, the Great Indian Kitchen now in uh, UK Asian Film Festival. Uh, actually, I, I take almost three years for this. Uh, we started thinking about this from uh, 2017. Uh, that's way. Thank you. That's that's a really fascinating journey. Uh, Kerala is considered to be a bastion of progressive and liberal ideals. So the recent elections have reinforced that conception of Kerala as a forward-facing state that's distinctly different from several uh, other Indian states where religious authoritarianism is rampant. So how is the story of the wife in the film relatable to broader contexts in India? Yeah, actually, uh, when I start thinking about the woman life in the kitchen, then suddenly I got a title, The Great Indian Kitchen. That, that from the very beginning I got the title, we must do this title, we must give this title to this film, The Great Indian Kitchen. It's a kind of uh, sarcasm. And, uh, and, and that's the correct title. So that's because this film is not a Kerala woman story. It is a pan-Indian woman's life. And uh, in, I have already told that in, in, there is a woman, there is a discrimination. 
And uh, Kerala, uh, you told that the progress is still, yeah, we are, we are progress and we are happy in that personally. And at the same time, uh, I have a lot of friends, they are, they are working in um, socially related issues. They are uh, a lot of active. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about my male friends. But inside their own houses, they are, they are ignoring this, this equality. Uh, when I was, the, when I was, uh, one, once upon a time I was visited my, my friend's house. He is very, uh, very, very much actively uh, involved in uh, this kind of human issue, social related issue. Actually, he's a progressive man. And then I, we are in, in, in the time of discussing, he is he, saying that his wife is not there. That's why I, I didn't give you a tea. And then I am thinking that I, at that time I, I was in the process of uh, the writing of the education. Why? The tea making that, that job only for women and cooking and uh, caring of uh, kids. We got all these privileges. Cleaned bedroom, cleaned bathroom, cleaned houses, washed plates and uh, kids. Uh, that's our privilege. I, I realize that. If one side we are progressing uh, and at the same, si same time other side is a uh, little bit bad. So I am I am I know that all over all over all around the world there is one woman discrimination is still there. In India uh, we are facing a lot of issues inside the houses. And in India every year we just looking into the domestic violence. There's a very large amount of domestic violence happening in India, in Kerala also. That's the main issue. Thank you. There's also a powerhouse central performance uh, from Nimisha Sajayan. Can you tell us a bit more about her strategies and her method in delivering such a compelling performance? Uh, from the beginning, you know, in our mind, my, me and my wife, uh, we take a decision that uh, Nemisha will do this. We have to approach Nemisha, and if she's not willing or she is not available, then only we have a second option. When I meet Nemisha, I, I just uh, just the story line tone, not not the not not a. I just just tell the story only. And a, a girl marries, and after that she. Who are working in, inside the house, and she's uh, getting out from that. And Nimisha says that I have to, I have to know each and everyone, uh, everything, uh, what happening inside the clean flat. And two months later, uh, me and Nimisha we meet again, and I describe the whole story from the from the first shot to the last shot. Then. We take a decision that we do this thing. And there is no talk about the salary of Manisha. And the movie uh, movie was important for Manisha. And then we started uh, uh, talking about the character. And actually, that, that, that was a simple process. Manisha, Manisha how well-known idea about her character and I never direct her from the from the first day we just uh, speak a little more about the character and the situation and the other characters uh, behavior then Nimisha handed the whole thing herself I, I never direct her and the same thing uh, Suryat is running almost near uh, 10 days before Suraj is uh, fixed. And Suraj's uh, character, he's implementing some little things in, in, in his character. 
uh, and uh, I, I never uh, write a full script. I, I mean, uh, I have seen all of in my hand, in my book, and there, there is no dialogue, proper dialogue. We have an idea what what kind of dialogue uh, needed for this thing. We have a lot, and how we present, which words we use, that we choose just before the show, that we fix just before the show. And Siraj and Nemisha, uh, they, they uh, very much like uh, this kind of working space. And we, we all are finding dialogue and uh, uh, other characters' dialogue. And Nimisha and Siraj contribute other character dialogue also. That way, uh, we, we actually we enjoy a lot because we are in a, we are inside the house almost almost 90 more percentage we are inside the house. There is no caravan, there is no other hotel for for the leisure thing. We are from the morning to the night. We are we all are together inside the house. So that was a nice experience. Unforgettable moment sort of happened. That was a nice experience with Nemisha and Suresh and all other actors. Brilliant. I understand you have your own little cameo appearance in the film, the <laughs> sequence where the vigilante mob burned the feminist activist scooter. Can you tell us more about that? <laughs> Actually, uh, we are shooting in a, in a pandemic, uh, so we have to cut the uh, crew. And I'm in that scene, uh, the crew members, uh, me and my editor, uh, Daji, one, one character is Daji, and Daji is an actor, the only one actor is there, Daji. Daji also our friend and he's working in the production department. And our production uh, controller, in that, in, that's in director view, uh, editor Francis, production controller Shinoi, and Daji. <laughs> we all are acted in that film. Uh, that we, we can't hire a, uh, other actors. So, so the, because we, we are, if this is a kind of independent kind of film, we are uh, independent filmmaking. And, and other reason is, this, this is pandemic. So, you see, uh, for this scene, we, we hire four more people for, from outside. That's why we act in that. And, and one more reason is, I love acting. Fantastic. Uh, it's, it's really interesting to hear about the innovative and creative strategies to surmount some of the obstacles posed by uh, the COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, also in the film, you focus very specifically on the Shabri Mala Shrine verdict. Uh, can you tell us, you know, a bit more about how that played an important role in driving the narrative uh, forward? Actually, uh... I already told that um, thinking from 2017. I was in the process. At that time, 2018, the Supreme Court order uh, released that woman can enter Shabrimala. And how in, in India, especially in Kerala, how we treat that issue in, in how we discuss, how we treat that issue. I, I felt shame uh, about uh, the politicians and uh, some kind of uh, religious, kind of religious uh, way. And the main issue is, the court says that women can enter Shabrimala. And some people say that they can't enter Shabrimala. That means they are sitting inside the house. They have to sit in, they must inside the house. So that is important for uh, my screen plan. That is not a, an issue of Shabiri Malai. That is an issue of woman freedom. And we are living in 2021. Then <laughs> I, I, I sometimes um, uh, this, this uh, woman can't enter Shabrimala. When uh, in 2018, I went uh, an international student festival abroad India. At that time, we, some directors and some friends from uh, abroad are discussing this, this uh, news. There is a temple like Shabrimala, woman can't enter. Is it true? Yeah. Why? <laughs> what is the reason behind this? Then th that shame on shame of our uh, country. 
that's why i discussed that matter uh, in my script uh, uh, at that time but that very relevant thing uh, i feel that that's a relevant thing we have to you, we must discuss uh, that issue that's why uh, the that sabarimala issue we included in the film Uh, I have one last question, which is: How has the film been received in India? Do you see this film as a small step towards shaping conversations around uh, gender equality, religious superstition, and politics of intolerance? What do you, What do you hope this film will accomplish? Actually, uh, after really, uh, we all are excited. That much of responses. coming from kerala outside kerala uh, outside india and after the first copy we will ready then we target a lot for releasing this movie and we approach uh, amazon netflix they all are rejected we don't know what is the reason behind that they rejected our movie and, and some malayalam uh, television channel we try for satellite release and they all are rejected uh, at that time uh, the, we came by a new stream new stream support uh, new stream gives the full support for releasing the movie the movie release in uh, new stream platform from the first day uh, january 14th midnight movie release on 14 jan uh, after one or two hour review uh coming on social media lot of belief in all social media handles there is a big talk the great intention was big talk and talk of the town and and then then all around the india they all are watching the movie talk to watch and the thing all things are changed or that that is only because of our audience especially our women and they are changed the strategy of corporate head they are made from the top of the uh, ott platform and the top of television channel the audience uh, proved that you guys are wrong this movie was this movie is great and and then slowly uh, television channels approach us and we release it in asian and asian it uh, take the satellite right and after all that uh, in, in April, from april 2nd the movie is streaming uh, on amazon prime that's a good thing uh, amazon come back that i am i feel i felt that that's a good thing for a uh, good cinema and the, the cinema changed their attitude and cinema changed their decision after all uh, one movie selected in uk asian film festival that's a, 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 another happening and same time uh, shanghai international film festival we got official selection and we are waiting for some other festival results then this this is, this is a happy journey this is continuing excellent and how have people uh, responded to the messages contained in the film the themes and actually issues? yeah actually i got lot of messages uh, from lot of people especially women they are saying this is not a big not there's not a big message small message they contain this, this this is only uh, they are saying the same thing all messages are same and this movie touch our heart we can't say anything more that is all all kind of reaction is the same time and from mail uh, they are saying uh, they they say that uh, they feel uh, they felt uh, guilty feel they got guilty and <laughs> we can't write about this movie we have no right to uh, write this movie and uh, some some 
males started to posting photographs they are cooking they are washing clothes <laughs> and lot of things happen uh, because of state indigestion uh, we are happy in that we, we are never expected this kind of reception from the audience that's brilliant to hear thank you very much for this wonderful insight into a truly trailblazing film thank you uh, the festival dates are 26 thank you, may thank you, so Thank you. Uh, the festival dates are 26 May to 6 June, and the full program can be accessed on the website www.ucaf.com. To follow us on social media, Twitter at come to ucaf, Instagram and Facebook at ucaf. Uh, sorry, at UK Asian Film Festival. The UK Asian Film Festival is also partnering with the British Asian Trust's Oxygen for India Emergency Appeal, raising funds to help bring relief to people affected by the devastating wave of COVID-19 in India. So please do have a look at the UCAF program for details, and please do help. Many thanks to Geo Baby for joining us for this Q and A, and thank you all for watching. thank you thank you and thank you you and uh, uk asian film festival thank you so much all the best for the future bye bye